Are we evolving backwards? It's a strange question, right? Now, we have all probably heard of the theory of evolution. It is a theory that all organisms evolve from a common prokaryotic ancestor. They don't have a nucleus and their DNA floats in the nucleoid. They can also have plasmids. Prokaryotes are divided into two domains, archaea and bacteria, the more well-known domain being bacteria. They were also believed to be the first organisms to live on Earth. DNA is a unique hereditary material of life. It contains genes that codes for all the genetic information that an organism has. Within the genetic coding, there can be certain mutations which causes change in characteristics. The new characteristic may be a survival advantage, in which case the mutated genes get passed down to babies for generations. Eventually, the phenotype that it offers becomes common enough to allow a group of organisms to become a separate species, and the organism has evolved. Our main man Charles Darwin, on his expedition all around the world, set foot on the Galapagos Islands. Here he noticed many finches that had very different characteristics to make them separate species. Finches are known to be the quickest evolving vertebrates. The closed environment allows them to have many changes like beak size and biomass. The theory of evolution was born. Now about us. Humans evolved from apes. Yes, apes. And only the fittest ever ended up surviving evolution. Recent studies suggest that aspects like technology are actually causing the weakening of our species. Can it be true? Multiculturalism is actually the essence of our society. As interracial couples become more common, we may start to lose distinguishing ethnic features. This means that one day after gradual evolution does happen, we may not be able to celebrate our diversity. As humans become more and more dependent upon medication for survival, we can expect the human immune system to slowly weaken. Over time, your body would become dependent on antibiotics to a point where this dependency passes through generations, which could mean eventually humans can't fight disease naturally. Our increasing reliance on technology and machinery to do our manual labour may actually result in the human race evolving to become much more physically weaker. How many times have you tried to remember something, but instead Google the answer? That's your brain remembering where something is stored, rather than what it actually is. Our brains will adapt to be more efficient, so evolution may lead to the detriment of our memory. Humans may one day evolve to lose less useful features such as our little toe. Humans find it an inconvenience and actually can live fine without it. I guess only time can tell. Humans could also take evolution into their own hands. Advancements in biotechnology, like gene editing or computer chip implants, may lead to robot-human hybrids. After all this speculation about Earth, genes, DNA, evolution, time, bacteria, prokaryotes, Charles Darwin and the Galapagos Islands, and even the prospect of humanity's future, I guess we shall never know, and time can only tell.